The image gallery component displays multiple thumbnail images in a tiled layout on a web page. When the images are viewed online and clicked, the full-sized image opens with the title or caption displayed. The title or caption is important for accessibility reasons. Each image should have a descriptive title so that a visitor who may have vision issues and uses assistive technology like a screen reader will understand what the image is about. Since images can take some time to download, use good judgment as to the number to add to the gallery and reserve the gallery for showcasing your very best. Before uploading images, make sure that they have been properly resized to a maximum of 1000 pixels wide and assigned a standard file name using lowercase letters with hyphens between the terms like pink hyphen azalea. There is no way to reorganize the images once they have been added to the gallery, so a bit of thought ahead of time might be helpful in organizing them. To start, drag the image gallery component into a drop zone. Click Edit. Drag an image from the Content Finder into the Drop an Image area. Type a descriptive title. Pretty Pink Azalea Blossoms. To add another image, click Add. Drag the image over and add the title. Cloverleaf Students Planting a Garden. And let's add one more. Drag the image over. And we're going to not title this one at this point. When all the images have been added, click OK. The images display in a tile format across the screen. Images don't have to be the exact same size, as AEM will automatically wrap them as needed. If we preview the page, and click on an image, the full-size image opens with the title or the caption showing in the lower left along with the image number. The left and right arrows help a visitor scroll through the images. Now our cow doesn't have a title, so let's go ahead and fix that. Click X in the lower right to exit view mode. Click the sidekick to return to edit mode. Click edit, and from the drop-down box, go choose the file we need to add a title to. White Faced Cow. Click OK. Now if you view the image, we see the title and that meets accessibility standards. To delete a specific image from the gallery, edit the gallery and from the drop-down list choose the particular file you wish to delete. And then click Remove. Click OK. And now we're down to two. Now let's review the Options tab. If you have an extension website, the Tiles per row is an option. You can choose one, two, or three, but three is the default. We'll leave it as the default. If you have a CAES website, the number of tiles per row is automatically set to three, and this option doesn't show. The import directory allows the selection of all images within a specific folder. Click the search icon and under Select Path, drill into your site until you come to the specific folder. Click the folder and click OK. Then click OK again. All of those images have now been imported into the gallery. However, if we view these images, the title shows up the same as the file name, which may not be properly descriptive, so they will have to be edited. 
To delete the image gallery, click Delete. Click OK. And we're done. For any questions or further help with AEM, please email caesweb at uga.edu.